All right, so let's go over this bridge. Follow this guy over into this area, and we reach a dead end. He jumps into a tree with Cooper's shell. Yells, me York. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's how I imagine N Y E A H is pronounced. Yeah. So this is one of those really annoying games that you probably saw a lot as a child. You may or may not have liked it. Um, but you just gotta follow him with your eyes. He's in tree three right now. And this will probably take me a couple tries because my eyesight, I don't know, it's been fading. It's, I, I don't wear glasses normally. I wear like gunner glasses. Um, that's it. But I don't know, I think it's this tree. Jing. Uh, I, I just noticed that it's been fading a little bit lately. Uh, it's probably just because I don't sleep at all. So I'm just tired and I feel like it's fading. It's probably not at all. I think it's this tree. Oh, sweet. So uh, after you get all this, you get the stupid shell. And, oh, victory. Do -do -do -do. And how angry Cooper's here. I realized I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my rep. I don't even care that I have no shell, and I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Ah, uh, yeah, Kubario, put it straight down on the table. That's right. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Yeah, whatever. No big deal. Now, I'm, I'll make a deal with you. If you join my team, you won't owe me anything else because I hate Goombario. And, uh, pres prof Professor Colorado. Um, he's like a famous architect, not really architect, but like, he discovered artifacts and stuff. And he actually has an interesting kind of cameo in the next game, which I will definitely point out, but I just, if there's one thing that you get out of this game that you should understand in the next game, like a reference, I want it to be uh, Professor Colorado. Oh yes, yes. Uh, that's my impersonation of Schneid saying that, because I was just playing Tech It with him, and oh my God, he was on grape juice and baby aspirin. I gotta say. So now, instead of getting a useless summary of things we don't care about, we get to kick him, and you can collect items with it. You can hit switches. You can hit enemies. It's really useful. And we get another Miori Orc. Um, and <laughs> so after all the trouble, they end up fighting us anyway. So they all have 3 HP, and Cooper's ability, instead of Tattle... Oh, well, first off, he has Shell Toss, which he just... It's basically your hammer. You charge it up, you hit an enemy. It's got to be the first enemy that is on the ground. I didn't mention, if there's, say, two pair of Goombas, and then a Goomba, you can still hit the Goomba on the very end. As long as there's no one in front of him that's ground based. But this ability right here, throw a shell at all enemies on the ground. Uh, you hold this, just like a hammer. And he does t he only does twos right now, but I mean, now they're all a lot lower. Which means if all of them hit me this turn, he's still going to kill them next turn, I believe. Unless they cost three flower power, in which case that would suck. Um, so we're just going to kill him real quick. And all these guys are going to jump on me. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Oh, no. I felt that one being off. I could just tell. And this fight's going to give me 12 star points. That is, that is a big number. So does it cost 3 flower power for this? It does. Okay. That's a, not a big deal at all. Ah, come on. When I level up, I need to get flower power up one. Because seriously. And uh, sometimes I... Since I'm pretty good at the whole calculating the numbers out kind of part of this game, sometimes I don't do my action commands correctly. Uh, and it's completely because I'm just doing the math out and I want to leave them with like 1 HP or something so I can kill them in a really stupid way. Uh, when I get the character Watt, definitely my favorite partner in the game. 
I just adore Watt. It's so cute. And uh, Watt's been called a boy and a girl by multiple sources. I think he was called a boy and a girl inside of the guidebook at different parts. So I'm just going to probably call Watt a boy. Because um, my, my girlfriend actually made me a pillow. Like she sewed a pillow together and it looks like Watt and it's amazing. Um, so save completed. Let's see, what's the time I got right now? Five minutes in. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna progress through the game a little more, but first, Chuck Quizmo. Yes, this guy, if you answer the quiz and get it right, you get a star piece. So I believe the first question is what's Gumbario Gumbario's sister's name, and it's Gumbario. Yeah. I pointed out Gumbario earlier. Yeah, there's a reason I did that. I wanted to make sure I knew her name for this question. I've been studying. That's right, Chucky. See ya. I used to think he was scary. Whenever I saw him in a town, I would get so startled because it was, like, out of the norm. And I'd not freak out, but, you know. I'd be like, oh, wow. Uh, what's the word? I'd be startled. I'd jump, you know. So, eh. Let's just wing it. I don't really want to heal up right now. Come on, Cooper. So slow. I'm not going to worry about my flower power, but I am going to grab these two hearts really quick. Thank you. Oh, God. Look at all this money. Oh, it was a trap. It's a trap. Um... Oh, now I kind of wish I had the flower power so I could just kill that Goomba over there. Ah, that sucks. Oh well. Because of that, I get to just use Sheltaw. And he'll do one to two damage to me. Only one. He'll laugh a little bit. Whatever, I don't care. The good thing about Cooper is... And I might call him Coops a couple times, because that's the name of the Koopa in Paper Mario 2. So I apologize in advance. But uh, the good thing about Cooper is, unlike Goombario, he can hit people with spikes. And um, that includes, I think, almost every character, or almost everyone that has a spike sticking out of like, their side as well. So over here, we have a like Thunder Rage or something, I believe it's called. Let's see what it actually is. It is Thunder Bolt. Sorry, my bad. Thunder Rage is the other one. We're going to get rid of... Oh, we should have just eaten the goom nut. Ah, come on. I'm never going to use a fright jar. If I was doing a speedrun, I would use fright jars, but... Eh, I just feel like it's a lost bit of... Uh... Star points. So I picked up a flower power after one of the matches. Someone dropped a flower, so... Boom. Easy six star points. And now I'm out of flower power completely. Nope, I actually have one. I made one off of that deal. Sweet. Oh god, I'm just realizing now that I missed something very important. And I am going to be forced to go back to this area later. So I can probably grab it then, but I don't want to forget it. It's definitely important to my early game strategy to grab this. So I'm just going to make sure I get that really quick. Over here, now that we have Cooper... Boom, star piece. Which brings us to sorry, hang on, button. Seven. Three to go. Uh, and then once we're there, I'm still having trouble deciding between Zap Tap and uh, Peekaboo. Um but if I have ten Oh god, you're back already? I forgot how fast these things can respawn. If I have, uh, I lost control. If I have ten after I get the first star spirit, I'm probably just gonna go straight up by Peekaboo. But if I have like nine, obviously I can't buy either. But I think if I only have nine, I'm probably going to end up buying Zap Tap first because of where the fuzzies are located in the storyline. Uh, it's the best way to counter fuzzies. And most of the enemies in the second area. Um, 
or at least there's less enemies in the second area that are weak to the zap tap badge as much as people after that point. Oh god. So I just ate my Goom Nut. You can always get one just by revisiting uh, the Goomba Town. Goomba Village, whatever it's called. My throat is killing me. But luckily, level up. Uh, while I'm clicking Flower Power and doing all the upgrady stuff, I'm going to take another sip of Vitamin Water. I do apologize for that. I'm just... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sick. Luckily, I block it. No big deal. Uh, the interesting thing about Paracoopas is that you have to hit them twice. If you hit them twice, they'll get knocked onto their backs. Uh, while they're flying, they have as much defense as when they're standing. But uh, the rule still applies when they're on their back. They have uh, no defense. Uh, and if you only hit them once while they're in the air, they will just fall down and be standing. So they'll still have a defense point. Ugh. I'm so used to the sound of it. It's without the preview on, and I just wasted... What am I doing? It's wasted a turn so bad. Without the sounds, it's a little harder to block. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think it was gonna be this much of a challenge. Oh no, I don't want to do that. No, thank you. I'm gonna take our sub vitamin on her. And boom. So this is about the 12 minute mark, I believe. And we're almost where we need to be, so this is this is pretty good time. We got a fire flower. And we're approaching, well after the star piece of course, which brings us eight. We're approaching a castle. Pretty cool. You know, you don't see a castle every day. Maybe you do, if you live in or near a castle. But for me, I do not see a castle every day. So this is a pretty sweet deal, I would say. Of course, we're not actually there yet. But we're pretty close. And uh, we're actually going to get our third partner soon. I don't really want to deal with that fight right now. I already leveled. Um, I'm healed again. And here we go. Here's the view of the castle. Yeah, it was pretty short-lived. Actually, I'm not going to save quite yet. Because when I do save, I want it to be the end of the episode. Which will be still momentarily. So now we have the Koopa Bro in black. Surprised that I'm here already. And yeah, you can tell, as I mentioned earlier, not as organized. They clearly have a weakness of some sort uh, in their organization levels. And while we can continue into the castle, I'm going to save that until the next episode. So this one was kind of short, and it was kind of a transition between uh, two, you know, two places. The Koopa Town, Koopa Village, whatever and uh, this castle, but we did get Cooper, and I think, what, two more star pieces? So, I think it was still pretty good. I'm gonna save again so that I can turn off the Wii and not be paranoid about it losing the file or whatever.